National Poetry Day gives us all a chance to make a poem and share a poem. And the theme this time is a great one, choice. Because so many of us have to make choices at every turn of our lives, some of them huge and some of them small. So I'm looking forward to the poems that you make and the ones you share as well. This is mine, choice. I may raise my child in this man's house or that man's love, warm her on this one's smile, wean her to that one's wit, praise or blame at a chosen moment in a considered way, say yes or no, true, false, tomorrow, not today. Finally, who will she be when the choices are made, when the choosers are dead, and of the men I love, the teeth are left, chattering with me underground. Just the sum of me and this or that other. Who can she be but helplessly herself? Two. Someday your head won't find my lap so easily. Trust is a habit you'll soon break. Once, stroking a kitten's head through a haze of fur, I was afraid of my own hand, big and strong and quivering with the urge to crush. Here in the next strong curve, the cradling arm, love leers close to violence. Your head, too fragile, child, under a mist of hair. Home is this space in my lap, till the body reforms, tissues stretch, flesh turns firm. Your kitten bones will harden, grow away from me, till you and I are sure we are both safe. Three, I spent years hiding from your face, the weight of your arms, warmth of your breath. Through feverish nights, dreaming of you, the watchdogs of virtue and obedience crouched on my chest. Shake them off, I told myself, and did. Wallowed in small perversities, celebrated as they came of age, matured to sins. I call this freedom now. Watch the word cavort luxuriously. Strut my independence across whole continents of sheets. But turning from the grasp of arms, the rasp of breath, to look through darkened windows at the night, mother, I find you staring back at me. When did my body agree to wear your face? 